Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Hazy Simmer here and in today's video I am recording a, another dollhouse episode for the Crybaby Whims Challenge. So it has been roughly a month since I posted this challenge uh, with four rent camp coming out and then the glitches I had with that and then I'm updating all my mods, doing the new Progressive Era Let's Play and then just life in general i've been sick for the last like two and a half weeks my whole house has been like getting the stomach flu on and off i just really haven't been able to sit down and play and i'm really sad because i had a lot of content i had planned for the holiday season but that's okay we can move it to the new year and make it part of our resolution for here on the channel to grow and share our content so today i am playing with the murderous family um dr bradford dr hilton bradford and his wife helena and we are currently here as um, Marigold, our heir, has come back to from college, not college, from um, summer camp. So if you haven't watched, she just spent summer in summer camp. By the way, do you guys like the new filter I have? I felt before that they were really orangey. Um, I was trying to make it really bright and acidic. And ever since uh, For Rent came out, I had to switch uh, I lost all my reshades and stuff like that. So if you guys like this vibe, let me know. I kind of think I do for it, but I can always make it more vibrant again. But yeah, so if you guys remember, Marigold, we just gave her a makeover in the last episode because it is her senior year. She met her high school sweetheart at summer camp. Uh, it was like a camp for all the seniors to get together and do some history work in El Salvadorado. And she quickly fell in love at summer camp with, I can't remember his name because it's been a minute with nico and he is a they were pen pals and he is now going to he was going to be a transfer student to their elite private school uh high school this senior year so that way it looks good on his college applications because he aspires to be some type of writer i believe it was plays if i'm not mistaken but i am just getting back into things so um if you guys remember her sister the part of the challenge the crybaby whims challenge is like Every generation is super dramatic. Every heir and their family is problematic. You might find people that you like, and you're like, why would they do this to them? Honey, they all are bad. They're all bad. Marigold is going to have some shady stuff happen. Like, they're all, they're gray. Okay, maybe they're not all bad, although I'm making them pretty bad. They're gray people. They do things that are questionable. Well, Belle, if you go back and watch, has married, um, Mary Gold's high school sweetheart, Jace, because that was per the challenge rules. Uh, Belle is expecting her first children, and they are not Jace's. If you want the lore on that, I think there's only five episodes or so in the series. It's really spicy. It's really dramatic. So if you guys want to watch it, I recommend going back and check it. But um, that's all I'm going to do for now because I've been chatting with you guys for three minutes. So we're going to get into gameplay. Um, last time I played, I couldn't go to high school with her. I don't know if that has been fi fixed. My major problem was a the mods. Hang on a second. My game plays a little loud. My major problem was it is a mod. A mod made it where I couldn't follow her to school, and I don't know which one it is. And hopefully, it, it's been sorted out now that I've organized my medieval folders, my modern CC folders, and then my progressive era folders. But um, yeah, so we're going to spend a little time in this household, follow her to school, and I believe Belle will be having her children in this episode. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, so uh, this, I haven't been able to rename the dog yet. Not Marigold walking around in her prom outfit. You guys already saw it, but this was her prom, this is her future prom outfit. She's just been wearing it for whatever reason. I think, um... Maybe it's a paranoid sim trait. I don't know. So yeah, Marigold got her um, little makeover for senior year. Um, and she adopted this dog when she was in El Salvadorado. So we're going to give it the last name Hilton. Oh, caps locks. And we're going to name it Lily Hilton. So this is Lily. Um, fun fact. Her ex-boyfriend, Jace, wants to be a veterinarian. Um, that's not the path he's set on right now due to Dr. Bradford, but he wanted to be a veterinarian. So it's very interesting that uh, Marigold adopted a dog. And if you guys don't know, I am playing with base mental 
mods. So Dr. Hilton sells prescription um, shifters, and I have a whole plot and a whole story along with that. But basically, he has mind altered the mind of um, Marigold, and she does not remember Jace, but they have a really strong connection. So um, she doesn't remember Jace as her boyfriend at all. Um, and that's, I know it all sounds crazy when I'm just doing like this summary, but if you go back and watch, you'll see like the story I built and all that. It is very weird jumping back into a save that I haven't been in in a month, but I'm very happy to see these characters again because I really did miss it. So um, I think it's, you know, it's just the middle of the night. They're having a weird, strange talk as usual. This family is always doing weird things in the middle of the night. Um, I guess I will have her clean up some. Uh, she right now has the fear of death and a fear of unfulfilled dreams. She's paranoid, domestic, and um, a perfectionist. So right now she's really not thriving in life. <laughs> but that's Marigold for you. Oh, I totally forgot this happened. Nico technically died when they were on summer camp, but she saved his life. So she has this tombstone. So that is why she is got she's got a fear of death and these are little knickknacks that they got on their trip looks like the parents are romancing but yeah this is one of her little knickknacks from el salvador all right so if you guys remember mary golda writes in her journal every single day and today she wrote dear diary i have to start a new one because my old one has been lost i am so excited to start senior year with my love he is the most perfect man ever i wrote moan it, I meant man, my bad. He is the most perfect man ever. Nico is so romantic and charming. We fell in love this summer at camp in El Salvador. I couldn't be more happier. My sister Belle has moved in with her husband, Jace, and they're expecting their first child. Life is perfect. So that is the mental state of our sweet Marigold right now. You guys, it generally never fails that Marigold is up around 3 a.m. doing yoga. For, and it's always like mind concentration. Like it's so insane that that is like her go-to personality habit. I've never had a sim do that before, but I really like that being a part of her story because of everything that's going on with her mind being altered, that she comes out here for some peace. I really like that. Peeping into the dollhouse, it is 5 a.m. And looking through this window, Dr. Bradford is working on another theory about his medicine and the powerful effects it has on altering someone's memory. So he is getting very far in his research by experimenting on his own family. And as we know, our very protective mama bear, protective of her perfect life image, is making breakfast now uh, for her family in her amazing kitchen. I think she's contemplating on what lesson she is going to be teaching this week to Belle since she has failed Belle greatly on being a homemaker. Although if you guys watch the last two episodes or at least the last episode, Belle has definitely worked on her homemaking skills as she wants to stay in her parents' good graces and not be slipped a little bit of that poison tea. Um, so she's been working on it. And Marigold is coming in after taking care of her dog and taking him on a walk, or her, it's a her, uh, taking Lily on the walk. And she's having breakfast. I guess she's having leftover fish. I will just pretend she is not eating that. And I think her mom is going over her calendar with her, letting her know, like, hey, I'm going to be helping your sister out a lot more since she is now newly married. And I want to make sure they are settling in the townhouses we bought you girls. If you guys didn't check that out in my last video, I also shared a build where I made some townhouses. I'm very proud of them. But um, yeah, so a part of the condition of getting to stay there for free um, is that, oh, she's a perfectionist as well. How funny. Runs in the family. Um is that she also, Belle has to take up parenting classes again with, oh, she just got a tungsten chef. That's so awesome. Way to go, Helen. But basically, Helen is mentoring Belle, her oldest daughter, on how to be the perfect wife because she thought she was teaching her girls well, but Belle kind of thought she could be a trophy wife and not do anything else at home and have like maids and stuff like that. And Helen, or Helena is like, no, that's not really the reality of it. You have to do all this other stuff. So um, our girl is getting ready for school though. 
Um, Marigold is our main sim, but I'm just telling, yay, okay, it looks like it's working now. So we're gonna join her. Yay, okay, so I don't know what mod broke it last time, but I'm glad it's working. And I'm sorry if I'm giving you guys a lot of summaries. Um, I feel really bad because it's been a lot of summary this episode, but we haven't played it in roughly a month. So I just wanted to catch you guys up. If you missed it, please go watch my last two episodes. I believe they're very well done um, and really get this plot driven. You guys know I am a storyteller. If you're new to my channel, I am a storyteller. I go out of my way to tell these elaborate stories. Um, and there's like murder, there's drama, there's like poison and like, cheating and it's super dramatic but the crybaby wins challenge is a very dramatic challenge so i decided to play into the spice and into the um intensity of what that challenge demands so i started um with our main sim as a teenager because she is meant to have a high school sweetheart who they break up with who marries her sibling and then she ends up marrying mr right and she has an affair with her ex so i kind of wanted to lay all that background so now we are in the forefront we're in our senior year this week is her senior year she's going to school with her mr Wright, and they're going to get married right after high school because that's what the challenge demands and so that is what you're going to get from the next two to three episodes is her senior year and then she's going to get married and then we're getting into hitting the mile markers of the challenge I feel so bad that I've been like overly explaining this whole time, but I just really miss being on YouTube and it's kind of like seeing an old friend for the first time. I'm like super awkward and uncomfortable. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this episode. And it's her senior year. Look at Marigold. So confident. Nothing like the little girl last year who was basically having to console her sister every step of the way she's definitely feeling confident decorating her locker a little bit paranoid but that's who she is but yeah i'm so happy for her she's gonna have such a great senior year off to class time for pe she's just doing her thing literally thriving I'm just super happy because Marigold is a tragic character, so she is just enjoying herself, and I'm living vicariously through the few cozy moments I get to have in her life. But yeah, yay, Marigold! Awesome job! Yeah, I bet she gets to excel in cheer now that she doesn't like have to, you know, coddle her sister and be a shadow to her sister. She can kind of be her own light, and she's shining really bright right now. And our little studious Marigold is doing really great in her science class. She doesn't have science class with Nico, but she is really excited to run into him in the hallways this day. Um, you know, just starting out school in general. She's just so excited to have her first high school uh, romance, to her knowledge. As you guys know, her memory has been altered. But I think... Uh, oh. Uh, sorry, I think they're talking about chemistry and she's learning about how certain plants and um, chemicals can alter someone's brain. And she's thinking, oh, yeah, like my dad's a doctor. He would know all about this stuff. I should talk to him about what I'm learning about and see what, you know, he has to say about it. A little annoyed by all the students are sitting with the principal. Like, I know that's her mom, but like, come on, guys. Like, it's a little weird. Maybe, it. you know what, I'm just going to play it into the story. You know me, guys. You know me. So we're going to say that the principal is having a meeting with the kids who went to El Salvadorado, at least the first batch of them, because some are on A day and some are on B day, uh, because our Nico did not arrive today. He's not a part of the batch. Um, but, yeah, so maybe the principal was having a meeting with them to talk about, like, their history projects and wanting to know, like, how did it go? Where the, did they learn a lot about the culture and all that? Everybody is kind of doing nothing. Do I have I have full autonomy on? Is anyone else's game have a bunch of boring sims? I kind of just like, I don't know. Maybe they're doing stuff and I just feel like they're not. But yeah, so, you know, Marigold is feeling confident. She has all her new friends. And he was definitely, I know he was her roommate in El Salvadorado. So, you know, they're probably all just hanging out and chatting. So, um... 
he is oh sorry he is asking marigold about like how are him and nico uh her and nico doing ever since summer camp like are they still hot and heavy and she's like yeah nico's the best i love nico and like we're gonna be together forever and he's like oh that's really awesome and their friend right here is like well i'm going to college so and marigold has no aspirations to go off to college or anything she just wants to be the perfect daughter and the perfect wife and mother so Marigold is eligible for early graduation. I can't remember what this does, but I kind of feel like maybe she would do it so we can move along the story. I'm going to do it. Early graduation. Congratulations. Marigold has graduated high school early. She has shown exemplary academic and extracurricular. Um, sh sorry, guys. The filter makes it really hard to read. Um that she earned her diploma while still being a teen. Graduating early means that Marigold may begin a career early and get a head start in professional growth if, if she chooses to. Well, she's not going to choose to. She's going to get married, but now I can justify it, and now they can get married. Okay, cool. Well, so you guys remember, one sim day is like roughly three months. So technically, it's like December-ish. Uh, well, you know... I think I'm playing the timeline different here than I am in Ultimate Decades. So yeah, like Harvest Fest is, yeah, okay. Well, that's okay. I didn't really, I mean, I guess I did want to go to prom. Maybe I just shot myself in the foot. But you know what? That's fine. That way we don't have to worry about her being the perfect student and she can go home and um, focus on getting ready to be her housewife. And Marigold is making dinner with her mom, a usual thing in this household, as they're just really about being homemakers. And Marigold is telling her mom, Helena, about how she got offered to graduate early. We're going to say that she's graduating in December, um, like half year. So that way we can still play out a few more days of high school. I'll probably just go there and do some storytelling. So she's not done with high school but that she's like on the list to graduate early or something like that that's how we'll play out that scenario i've never done it before so i didn't know what it would look like but yeah my, i feel like my sims are standing around a lot oh i love lily mary golden lily but yeah so i think she was telling her mom that and of course her mom is proud because anything she can brag about makes her look better you know what i mean so she was she's living for it can we clean this please just want to get this counter cleaned i'm definitely experiencing a teeny bit of a lag of like them doing stuff but tonight they're having beef wellington for dinner because this is a perfect life and uh they can make that at home <laughs> So, so Bella's calling her mom, and I think it's because she's going into labor, so we're going to go over there in a little bit. But the family is sitting down for dinner, and they're checking in with everybody and just kind of seeing how they're... Oh, we got to remove that free love has been voted. I have that turned off, but still, it happens. I don't understand. But... uh. Marigold, sorry guys, I lost my train of thought. Mar Marigold is telling her dad about how in science class she is learning about how certain plants can alter your mind and how, you know, mixing that and making medicinal properties can, you know, just alter people's reality. And she thinks it's very fascinating and wonders what the government would do knowing this information. And he's like, oh, don't worry, the government would never use that. Like, they wouldn't use that information. And she's like, but think of all the bad they could do if, you know, that kind of thing was going around and being used. Like, politicians could corrupt people and towns and stay in power effectively forever. And Helena's like, oh, our imagination, our daughter is so creative. And, you know, I think she made her dad mad talking about it because... You know, he's essentially doing that. He's using his medicine to help politicians control their spouses and other people we don't even know yet. And Helena knows about it because she agreed to be his first patient because her life was so miserable and awful that she just wanted to forget. And so, you know, Dr. Bradford stepped in her knight in shining armor and gave her this fairy tale life. So Helena will do anything to protect it. But his daughters are starting to get wise on it. And Dr. Bradford's like, look, telling um 
Marigold, I'm a scientist. Like, I promise you, if anything was going on like that, like, I would be one of the first people to know. Not, he's not a scientist. He's a doctor, but he knows scientists. And he's like, you know, I'm part of the cutting edge technology. I'm a plastic surgeon to the stars. Like, I treat all the politicians in town. Trust me, I would know about it if something like that's going down. And she's just like, okay, dad, I just thought that was like an interesting thing. Um, because, you know, over the summer, she kind of found a passion for investigating and, um, like history and politics and she enjoyed writing about it. So writing is something that she enjoys right now. And she's very interested in politics. So that's kind of where we are. And we're going to finish the night and the episode over in the Malibu beach house, the doll house. Uh, duplex, or not duplex, but townhouses. This one is Marigold's future estate, and this one is currently Belle's. As we know, Belle is going to give birth today, so I just wanted to check in. I'm still super in love with my unique build. I hope I don't, like, look back at this in a few years and think, like, wow, that was trash. <laughs> but you guys remember how Jace wanted to be a veterinarian, and his college, he got a letter from the college saying that they believe he'd be a better suit for the medical branch because Dr. Bradford is kind of punishing Jace or warning, not really punishing Jace, but warning Jace that he can control his life. Um, and Jace also knows about what Dr. Bradford did to um, Belle's high school boyfriend. Well, it was more his mother, right? Um, of course she's compatible. Oh, it never mind. She's like, got bad compatibilities. Landon. So Jace knows what, uh, their, his parent, her parents and Marigold's parents did to Landon, but they don't know he knows. So Jace is kind of agreed to be one of their dolls and live the life that they told him that he is going to live because Jace is scared to die. He's your good boy guy who wants to be everyone's knight in shining armor he is you know his trope is that he's just the nice guy who thought was in the wrong place at the wrong time and now he's being submissive instead of standing up to dr bradford he's falling in line because you know he's got this beautiful wife they're friends they're not in love because he loves marigold but at the end of the day his college is paid for He's going to have a business of his own one day, thanks to Dr. Bradford's money, and he has this house. So he's stepping. He was a child. You know, he graduated high school. He's 18 years old. He's young. He's kind of walking into adulthood with everything, uh, thanks to this deal he made with Dr. Bradford by marrying uh, Belle to keep up images. And um, yeah, you know, he'll regret it later for sure. But right now... Um, things are looking good for Jace, aside for, you know, him not being with the person he loves. But as I told you guys, their house is very, I did a lot of psychology, like I thought about a, a lot of the psychology of Dr. Bradford. Dr. Bradford built these houses, so they're sterile. They're full of bland, basic colors, nothing, no life about them because it's his controlled environment. And as their personalities start to get stronger against Dr. Bradford, I might be customizing the house a little bit more into things that are more towards them. Like Belle has gotten really good at cooking and she's found a passion in it, even though she didn't want to be a homemaker. And so like I'm doing little things like that to um, celebrate their personalities in the house. But I'm going to play with them for a little bit, and then Belle will go into labor. So we have a lot of journal entries I wanted to read. I just wasn't sure which one. Um, okay, here we go. So this one is called Jace. I'm happy things aren't going to get worse than they were. I'm glad to be out of my father's house. At least I'm on my own. I'm safe. I feel bad for Jace. I know he loves Marigold. I feel bad for being so selfish. My pregnancy hormones are running wild. I am all over the place. One minute I'm on top of the world. The next minute I'm crying. I miss running in the gardens with Landon. I wish mom didn't poison him. I wish he married me. I really got this one wrong. So. We know that Belle was incredibly selfish, but she has been having some remorse lately. And I'm trying to make sure Jace. 
Jace too. Okay, let's read them all. Um, so I really got everything wrong about Landon. Well, mom and dad too. I never would have imagined the links they would make they would go to make sure no one found out about any of their dirty secrets. I can't believe so much of our lives was a lie. It is honestly scary. I hope to stay useful to them. I just have to play my role, just like Jay said. At least we have been set up with a nice life. I'll always love my parents, and I'm confused by who they are, and I'm scared, but deep down, I'll always love them. So she's really been working her whole pregnancy through her apparently playing Sim City, but she's been working through her feelings and stuff. So we have Jace three. So we're just going to read them. Um, I think about my parents. I think my parents just want what's best for us all. They don't want us to have bad lives. They don't want us to ru ruin their lives either. At least Jace agreed to marry me. It would have been worse. We have we have been close and friends for years, so it isn't so unfamiliar. I hope that he can find happiness in our lives together. I will try to be better. I know I'm selfish, but having this baby is me knowing it, it and, and me knowing it from, ah, ha, but having this baby in me, knowing it comes from Landon, and he is gone because of, well, everything I wanted to, hang on, guys. She has been having some revelations. Wanted to give, I want to give my child a better life, at least better than Landon had. And I promised to be nice to Jace. He traded love to protect me. And yes, he gets to take, he's, get, he's getting taken care of by my father for life. But I know he really did love Mary. Poor Mary. Mary Gold. That's what she calls her sister is Mary. Poor Mary, we have gotten so distant over the last year. I acted more grown up than I was, and now I put a rift in our lives. I know I am smarter than this. I was just so boy crazy, and I'm full of myself. I need to admit it. I'm going. I'm selfish, and I'm arrogant. And I need help. If I don't change my ways, maybe my parents will arrange an accident for me. I can't let that happen. I am so scared. I feel like our whole lives was a lie, and now I have to just play along or else. So she definitely has been going through revelations. Now, mind you, this isn't going to change her overnight. This nine-month pregnancy did not change who Belle is. Inherently, she is a selfish person, but during her pregnancy, the hormones had her very vulnerable, and she was experiencing a lot of remorse. So. And her and Jace got really, really close. Baby doctor appointment. Today, oh, so this is from the last episode. We actually didn't get to read her journal, so we're catching up on her journal. Today, I had a doctor's appointment. I found out I am pregnant with twins. This is so crazy. I know I'm not fit to be a mother. I knew, it, I, knew I would have to have kids one day for my future husband, but I never expected to have twins. I'm, I also expected to have a nanny. I expected a lot out of my life, and I really don't think my dreams are going to happen. I was a kid living in a fairy tale, and now I'm awake in this dark reality. I also was told I have low fertility, so that so it is actually remarkable that open I got pregnant. The doctor said I may never get pregnant again after this. I don't know if Jace and I will ever woohoo. But I worry that not only did I take his love away from him, but now I've taken his chance at having biological children away. He is such a good guy. Why did I let him get caught up in this mess? So she, her hormones are insane. Her heart is so sad for her sister. And Jace has conformed to the role very well. He's decided, you know, he's going to do the thing and he's going to listen to her dad. And maybe he'll grow bitter about it over time. I don't really know which way we're, he's going to go with it. But I do know that Belle is on a redemption arc. At least she's trying to be. But I'm actually going to start her pregnancy. Why is she in? See, her pregnancy has been messed up because I made her get pregnant as a teen. She's supposed She's been pregnant for like three sim weeks. So I'm just going to enter. Um, tr she's in labor. so. Um, she's also not supposed to be having a baby that she 
It's not supposed to be unwanted. She did originally unwant her kid, but her and Jace spent the whole summer getting ready to have this baby. So we were not going to have a home birth. I don't know why it says that. She was supposed to have a cesarean. I guess I signed her up for a home birth. So that sucks. I wonder if I can make it later. So Belle is going. So if you guys remember, I was trying out the realistic childbirth mod with Belle. So this is my first time doing it. Belle is going into labor. Prepare for her home birth by purchasing a birth pool or a birth pillow. Activities such as breathing, exercising, taking a bath, or or exercising on the birth ball will help her manage contraction pains and speed up dilation. Oh my girl. Breaks her water and then cleans it up. Wild, wild. All right, let's see what we can do about this. I don't know if she would have bought a birth ball. So we're going to go for a walk. It'd be wonderful if Jace could go with us, but I don't think he can. Contraction pains. Belle's contractions are definitely uh, uncomfortable but manageable for now. Perhaps she should rest while she can or maybe take a walk before. Moving becomes unbearable. One way or another, she should definitely take advantage of this calm before the storm. Super exciting. I really enjoy this. And, of course, Jace is like, he had his little pre parent freak out. Now he's going to have a snacky snack. So, yeah, that's where we are. She's walking around the beach in her wedges <laughs> and her iconic pink outfit, just like not to be bothered. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I did change it back to cesarean, and she is going to take a bath and then go to the hospital. Bella might be experiencing a stall in labor. Keep moving, monitoring the situation. If it doesn't improve, she might need an emergency C-section. Yeah. Okay, that's not good. Wake up. Um, I don't know what else to do. Just go for a walk. Sorry, guys. I should do it better where you guys can see. Of course, she's leaving. Something feels off. Bella might be overthinking it, but her contractions are slowing down. She remembers the word of her doctor who warned her that if they stalled labor, that they could lead to difficulties or prolonged birth. Bella could, couldn't help but think of the worst case scenario or of the potential risk to have to her and her babies. She should try. Moving around, hopefully her contractions will pick up again. Oh my gosh, this is really intense. She's just like in their nursery. Oh, she's thinking of her babies. Belle, you got to go for a walk, honey. That nap was not a good idea. I just thought it thought it would be nice. Like I have kids. I would like, I would want to take a nap. <laughs> all right. She has been walking all night, you guys. I really want to do a series where I test mods out and not my actual gameplay saves because then I wouldn't have to wonder what's going on. Um, and I think that'll be a good way to let you guys know what I think of them. Oh my gosh, today is Jace's first day of school. So he's missing his first day of uh, college for this. Welcome to the clinic. You have previously spoken to our obstetrician and you chose to give birth through C-section. When you're ready, ask one of our obstetricians to give you an epidural. We'll start the surgery as soon as the epidural kicks in. Oh, well, that's really nice. So that is good for us. So the other doctor disappeared. So her dad is going to have to be the one who does this, which is kind of scary because we don't trust Dr. Bradford anymore. So she has to put her baby's lives in her father's hands. So that is spooky because if you guys remember, she asked him if he was excited about being a grandfather and he said no. So he's giving her an epidural, but she is like wondering if it's anything more than that, which is spooky for her. Um, oof, this, this mod is really intense, guys. But she has nothing to do. Like, she has to trust her dad. She has to think, like, maybe he did all this because he loves me. Um, Sorry, I don't know what happened to my game sound. It absolutely disappeared. And I can't get it to come back. So he's checking in on the baby now. Oh, my gosh. 
She is fully dilated. Oh my goodness. It's time. Come on. Let's have this baby. Uh, Get birth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. The suspense is killing me. I'm sorry. It's quiet. I don't know what happened to my game sound. Oh, look at how real this is. Holy crap. You guys, I would not trust Dr. Bradford. Oh my gosh, she has to though. I mean, it is her dad. So like, let's hope, uh, he, you know, everything's going to be okay. Oh, I hope I don't have to edit any of this out. Let me zoom back. Maybe it won't be as bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so intense. Like, Round of applause to this person who made this mod. That is insane. Okay, I assume the baby has been born. Yes, it's a girl, our first girl. So her name is going to be um, Chamomile or Cami. Her name is going to be Cami. Wink, wink. Um, and her uh, son's name is going to be Landon. Because Landon was killed by chamomile tea. Um, and so Belle has named her children that with... Oh. What? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Oh, um, why is her eyelash... No, it messes them up, her eyelashes. You guys, Belle's baby. I mean, ignore that one over there. Oh my gosh, guys, that was the most beautiful moment I've ever experienced in The Sims. I'm going to leave us with that, guys. Dr. Bradford delivered his uh, grandchildren, Landon and Cammy. Maybe, I don't know if I can think of a name. I, I always intended for her to name her son Landon after the biological father. Um, so maybe she filled out the paperwork before she went back because her dad originally wasn't going to be delivering them. So obviously he is probably livid and might force her to change his name. But we'll get into that in the next episode. I'm so sorry if this episode seemed awkward at all. This is my first time recording in a month, and it is kind of weird to get back into the groove of things. I never want you guys to have to go a whole month uh, without content, though. So I don't think you did. I think uh, I had Ultimate Decades two weeks ago. But I haven't been recording regularly, and I haven't been in this day for a month. So it is very weird and awkward. So I guess... It's just me being me. You guys, I think you guys are getting to know that I am, I talk a lot, I'm awkward, and I have a big imagination. So anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, please think about subscribing to the channel, and I hope you guys like this episode, and go back and check out the other episodes in this series, because I think it's a hidden gem. I'm really enjoying playing it. It's super dramatic and super funny, and I don't think you'll find many Sims gameplay videos like it, so it would mean a lot to me. My goal for 2020 is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I know it's a tall order because I'm not even a quarter of the way there, but I just have faith in the power of stories and hope that this is going to take off and be something great. So uh, yeah, dag dag, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which is going to be a progressive era let's play video. All right, bye guys.